guys, welcome back to another episode of Art in 10. My name is Addie, this is Lexi, and we have a special guest with us today. This is my niece, Harper, and we are going to draw something awesome in 10 minutes. So what you're going to need today is you need your pencil. We have two types of pencils, show them your pencils girls. We have <laughs> mechanical pencils to sketch with, but you can sketch with any type of pencil. We have one artistic pencil. These ones can go darker. So if you have one of those, awesome. If you don't, a regular pencil also works. <laughs> you need an eraser. Show us the different types of erasers. Harper has a kneaded <laughs> eraser, which she finds very funny. I have an eraser that is like this. And Lexi, show us yours. She has just a regular eraser that looks like a cute little hedgehog. All right, the last thing that you're gonna need today is some blending tools. And today we are going to be using cotton swabs. Q-tips. So you need at least one Q-tip. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. And you also need one piece of toilet paper. What? <laughs> I will show you why. All right, let's go ahead and get started on drawing yeah. a panda bear. Are you ready? Grab your sketching pencil. The first thing that we're going to do is on our paper, we are going to draw lightly a large circle. So lightly draw a large circle. Now the reason why we need to do this nice and light is we may erase part of this oh, later this looks on. So bad. It looks great. All right, inside that circle, we're going to draw the snout of the panda bear. All right, and that sits right down here about the bottom. So go ahead and put in another light circle. You can see how I'm kind of not doing straight lines, I'm doing nice kind of fluffy sketching. And that is so that then I can erase it. It's a little bit easier. All right, that's where his snout is. Panda bears have these super cute little patches around the eyes I that we're going to put in. And these look kind of, to me, like jelly beans. <laughs> what? Yeah, like the shape of a jelly bean. Mm. So on the side of your little snout, I want you to create these jelly bean shapes. So I've created one. i got to do the exact opposite on the other side. Oh, this does not look like a jelly bean. Hey, it's going to look so good when you are done. All right, so we have two jelly bean shapes for the eyes. Now, if you feel like I'm going too fast for you, 10 minutes is a short amount of time. Pause your video, catch up to us, and then come back. All right, let's look at the top of his head. What do they have on the top of the head that we're missing, girls? Ears. Ears, let's put some ears on. Again, these are just circles. So I'm gonna give myself two circles. They're roughly the same size. And you can see how I'm doing nice and light sketching with that. I don't want to do it super dark. All right, we have most of the parts for our panda bear, and we'll be able to start shading him in just a minute. Let's talk about the torso part, like where our shoulders are on this cute little panda bear. So where your circle is at, I want you to find out where his shoulders would be, and they're kind of wide. You're going to bring two lines down on a little curve, like so. That's looking great, Harper. Lexi, that's looking super cute. All right, these are the basic things that we need to start this panda bear. Now we're done with our sketching pencil, and now we're gonna move on to our artistic pencil. So I am using a 3B. You can use any one that you like, but I do have a good, nice, sharp point to it. So I'm gonna hold this pencil in a different way. Usually we hold the pencil like this. I want you to take it and I want you to grab it from the top like this. And you kind of come back a little bit farther on the pencil. What this is gonna do is make it so that you can cover a larger area quicker, and it also makes it so that you can have more control over what you are doing with this pencil. All right, so in this grip, I'm gonna come down and fill in this part, his two little eyes, his body, and his ears. They have this awesome black color. All right, and to do this, I am going to do a scrumble motion, and scrumbling is just circles. I'm drawing on the side of my pencil, and I'm scrumbling my cute little area here for his eyes. It almost looks like a crayon. It's a little bit different look than what we would use. So Harper, hold your pencil this way. Grab it from the top. There we go. And I know it feels weird. Is this a weird grip? And if it feels super weird to you and you hate it, go ahead and do it the other way. That's totally fine. But you want to try to draw on the side of your pencil, no matter which way you're gripping it. Try to get the side instead of the point. And the reason why we want to do that is you get more of the graphite, more of the pencil on there in a faster, uh, in a faster way. And it goes on nice and smooth and light instead of really, really dark. All right. So this can go very quickly once you've had more experience with it. 
And remember, scrumbling is this nice circular motion. There's lots of different ways that you can shade. Scrumbling is one of my favorite. All right, remember we're getting the ears, the eyes, and his shoulders, his body. But we're leaving the rest of the face nice and white. You guys are doing awesome. We're about halfway through our time. And we are doing great. All right, look at how much shape, how much I've got to get this shape down here. There's a lot of space, so I'm going to do big scrumbles on this. I also have a big panda bear. I used the whole paper, which is nice. Ooh, that's looking great, Harper. It's looking good, Lexi. All right, now it kind of looks like a baby colored in your picture, right? Scribbled all over your picture. You're probably looking at it going, this does not look very good. I don't like it. Well, we're going to fix it. All right, so now we're going to use our toilet paper. Here's what we use the toilet paper for. I want you to get one square of toilet paper and put it on your finger like this. We're going to wrap oh, it around. I've, I've done that. Oh, good. So you know what I'm talking about. Now, this is to stop your finger from getting all gross. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the same circular motion, I'm going to rub in all little areas that I got with my pencil where we colored it in. But remember not to go too far out as we're doing the eyes. That will be the part that you want to be the most careful with so you don't pull that out too much into the face. Oh, you guys are doing great. All right, look at how much it brings onto that toilet paper. Let's get a new little area here. I like to have a clean part of the toilet paper as I move into different parts of it because I don't want to accidentally make it go all over the face of my panda bear. All right, we gotta get his eyes, his ears, and his body. You guys are doing so good. Mom, can we use this? Absolutely. All right, now we are going to use a Q-tip. And what I'm gonna use this for is to go around the edges of his face where we created the circle there and on the snout. So I'm just gonna lightly rub back and forth to make these areas a little bit lighter. You could use your toilet paper for this as well if you don't have a cotton swab or you like the look of the toilet paper better. But basically we want to take all those little areas that we have put our pencil and we want to lighten them up. This is going to create some instant shading on our animal. All right, that looks great. All right, now we are ready to put some detail work into our animal. All right, so we are going to do his little eyes. Let's look at that first. Inside the little jelly bean shape, I'm gonna use this pencil again, but you can use whichever pencil you want. I just prefer this one. I'm starting off. No, no, keep going, you're doing great. Don't give up, don't give up. All right, on the eye, we're gonna do another little circle inside here. And this is the pupil of the eye. We're gonna create like a little moon. You know when we look up at the moon and it's a crescent shape, almost like a banana shape? That's gonna be inside of our eye. So we do a nice little circle and then we find where that banana crescent shape, where we want that to be. We're gonna leave that part and we're gonna color in the other part of the circle. Okay, that is super cute. He's got cute little eyes now. Oh, you guys are doing good. I love it. All right, let's look at his nose. The nose is a nice triangular shape. So we can give ourselves a line. It comes down as if someone took this triangle, curved it just a little bit at the end instead of letting it have a point. And then I'm going to scrumble over that and blend it in. You can choose to blend it in with your toilet paper piece or your Q-tip. I'm going to use my Q-tip. There's his cute little snout, his cute little nose. Harper, did you get a little triangle nose on there? It's almost a whole triangle, but the bottom is a little more round. Good job. Now, the last thing that you could do is you could go through and put in a whole bunch of little teeny hairs with your pencil if you want to go around his cute little shape here. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a inside of his ear here, and I'm gonna give him some little teeny hairs. And I like my hairs not to be perfect. I like them to be kind of crazy. Like if you look at grass and weeds or maybe your own hair. Sometimes Lexi wakes up and has the craziest <laughs> hair. 
it's not all perfectly straight. So don't make all of these little hairs on the outside of your panda bear straight either. But they're short and little. You guys are doing so good. We're almost at the end of this 10 minutes. We're so close. You guys are doing awesome. You have done a great job putting together this cute panda bear. It's such a short amount of time. You should be super proud of yourself. All right, I got all his little hairs on him. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just blend them really, really lightly with a clean piece of my toilet paper. Just gonna go over them really lightly because I want those to stay, but I don't want them to be so dark. Just give them a little bit of a brush. The last thing that you need to do is sign it. Everyone needs to know that you did this awesome job on this cute panda bear. So please make sure you sign it. All right, that was great. These turned out so good. I hope you guys had lots of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and come back so you can do another fun lesson of Art in 10. Have a good time. Say bye, girls. Bye. <laughs> bye.